Ed Tibbetts was the best counselor a bishop ever had. He knew more things that the bishop should do than the bishop knew. Yeah. He used to advise me all the time, you need to do this, bishop, you need to do this, bishop. And every time I did it, it was right. <laughs> anyway, the real story about, about Jack, <clears throat> when he come to uh, the valley, he uh, made a lot of difference in the church in the ward where I was. And uh, I went in a bishopric with him one time, didn't I? As I remember. But uh, never, nevertheless, uh, I think you were a bishop almost two different places, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. Eight, times. eight years. Yeah, I was up on campus. And, yeah. And then we brought Ed as a bishop up on campus. Right. Mm. I, I, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I was. And then I come home and I was a bishop here again. Yeah, he, then he came back to his home and was a bishop here again. And so, so uh, how was he as bishop? Eight years, both of us. Is that right? Yeah. Eight years. Yeah. Two different places. She yeah. said, how was I as a bishop? Oh. She, he how, be, how did he do? He was, uh, he could anticipate any problems better than anyone I ever saw, you know, <laughs> and handle them. A lot of bishops, they hear the problem, but they never could solve them. And so he solved their problem, but he had the finances to help them. And so I guess, you know, most bishops didn't have that kind of business, you know, but I, uh, he had these elderly people go on campus uh, ladies, weren't they? And they helped finance these sisters up on campus with their housing up there. I still know that. And uh, I don't know, I, I don't even have the idea what it costs you to keep those ladies up there. But <laughs> anyway. That's amazing. He, he's done it all, I'll tell you that. No, uh, when we were on campus, we called, I was in the state presidency at that time, we called Ed to be a bishop up there. We had the problem of all these single women that had little kids yeah. that were attending the single wards. And that didn't fit real well with the elders calling. So I got the idea and I said, I know what we need to do. We're gonna bring Bishop Tippett's up here and we're going to put him in charge of all the married women that's got all these kids because yeah. he can handle them better than anybody I could think of ever. So we put them all in his ward yeah. and he would assign the elders to take them out and date them. Yeah. He'd say, this is part of your priesthood calling to give these girls some social. <laughs> we got a lot of gals remarried, didn't we? Did. Yeah. Wow, yeah, and then a lot of them got married, influence, huh? Because of his influence. That's yeah. amazing. He oh, had a, that's we neat. had a primary, if you yeah. can imagine, a junior Sunday school in a single student ward, yeah. which no yeah. other ward in the church had, but right. he ran that for us. That's, that's amazing. What happened, wow. a lot of those sisters lost their husbands because they weren't, they weren't LDS, and they, and they finally got tired of being married to someone that wouldn't go to church. Mm -hmm. they, and not only that, they weren't LDS. And so a lot of these girls, we got remarried up there to new LDS people. That's great. So uh, <laughs> that was quite, Jack watched over that. that no, was, you were the bishop there. Well, I didn't have anything to do with this. But anyway, <laughs> when those gals come in, uh, he had the finances to, Help us up there, even though we don't we don't have the money up there on campus to do that. But we we picked it up at home for it, didn't we? I think so. Great, Jack. Anyway, that was quite. A, and I, he still got much. He takes care of up on campus now. Oh, I can. He. 
He's he's losing his memory. <laughs> no, I I think he does take care of a I, bunch of Nanette, girls. I love up this on. man. I love this man just like I love my own brother, or my own dad, yeah. or my own brother or son. Yeah, he, he is such a good man, so smart, yeah. and so insightful. I told you. That yeah. He would pick out somebody in the audience and say, Bishop, you need to interview her. Yep. And I, and well, that's I, and great. He knew it and I didn't know it. He was getting all the inspiration from Heavenly Father. <laughs> <laughs> so, when Jack was up on campus, he was the only one that had the wherewith to financially help these people. <laughs> and right now, he still got a bunch of people on the campus he takes care of. No. That's true. I've <laughs> heard that's true. That place up there. I don't know what you're talking about here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, a lot of these widows, I, you know, we're trying to find places for them to live, but they have a situation up there where, where uh, these guys put up their own money to help them. That's crazy. McKay, McKay, let me